We are back at Muscatine High School. Brian Russell, Joel Crossauer, bringing you all the action and a great rendition of the national anthem by John Jones. Outstanding performance here. Roger Bates, the Golden Pipes down there at the uh, scorer's table, getting everybody ready for play as the Muskies. And Spartans ready to tip off in the tap control by Pleasant Valley right out of the gate. And it's going to be Ellie Spellhog at the top. She drives into the lane, pulls up from five, rattles around, no good, tapped out of bounds. It's going to be musky ball. Good job there by, by Macy Rogers to keep her feet in front of Spellhog and not foul. Man-to-man -man defense. That's what Coach Orvis has done. That's what the program is built off of. So we're going to see a lot of that tonight. PV opens in a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court zone press. Looks like Rogers has it. Picks her dribble up against a trap. Gets it to Kerr in the middle, and it's intercepted and stolen away by Donahue. And here come the Spartans. Artoffer in the front court. Kicks it over. And now there's a three ball on the way. Short rim. No good. And a rebound cleared by Donahue. She gets it in the corner. She gets it out to Ellie Spellhog. Now over to Artoffer. She drives into the paint. Picks it up. And there's a three out of the corner by Carly Spellhog. Air ball. No good. And Rogers clears the rebound for the Muskies. Paige Miller now in the front court for Tess Kerr. Tess Kerr in the right wing. Picks her dribble up back over to Paige Miller. Over to Rogers. Rogers swings it in the corner for Eller. Muskies being very patient. Peavy really extended the defense, Joel. Yeah, that extended 2-3 zone, that's that's their philosophy. They go that 1-2-1-1 one, one, one trap into the extended 2-3 zone. Coach Oris was concerned about that coming into this game. And they steal it away. In the front court, Artoff are now in the corner. She kicks it to Spellhog at the top. Two Artoffers and two Spellhogs, folks, so bear <laughs> with me. You're going to have to get the first names down. PV with some outstanding talent. Rogers in the front court drives a lane. Shot up no, but a foul on the floor. And this one's going to go on Rory Donahue. Her first, the first on the Spartans. Paige Miller looks at inbounds for the Muskies. Gets it out high. There's a three by Kerr. Top of the key. Shot no good. Rebound tapped and cleared by the Spartans. Down the floor comes Kyra Artoffer lays it up and in. Nice basket there. Good drive by Artoffer. Just had five eight. Kira Artoffer, the senior. There's a pass out of bounds on the inbounds. Muskies bothered a little bit early by the pressure, Joel. Yeah, that's really what PB wants to do. They want to attack, 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 and force you to have to handle the ball. But uh, they're, they're all quick. They're almost like a four guard lineup. Muskies steal it away in the inbounds. Eller brings it over half court. She bounces it to Kerr. Kerr on the left wing. Tessa gets it to Paige Miller. Now over to Kerr. Kerr on the wing again. PV extending that zone. Looking to trap whenever they can. Miller picks it up top of the circle to Eller on the right wing. Back to Miller. They're playing catch out high. Now they get it to Garcia. She drives. Kicks it to Miller. Miller over to Kerr. She'll take another long three left wing. No good. Rebound tapped around. Rogers comes out. Good rebound wing. by Rogers. Macy very active, spin move, good, Macy Rogers. Great offensive rebound and then strong take, not letting Pleasant Valley reset their defense there. 2-2, Two -two, 5.25 left here in the first, just underway. There's Carly Spaw, kicks it over and there's a three short and that's gonna be off. The Muskies and out of bounds. It'll be PV basketball. Susan Orvis didn't like that call. Yeah, I, I was blocked by another athlete, so I didn't see exactly what had happened. But Same here. Grace <laughs> Buddy checks in. I was blocked by the radio we have here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a three. <laughs> right wing, good. Nice shot by Kira Artoffer. And she's got all five points for the Spartans, and they lead the Muskies 5-2. With five minutes left here in the first, Rogers gets the ball stolen away in the backcourt. There's Carly Spellhog. She drives into the paint, lays it up and in. 7-2 PV timeout, Susan Orvis. He's bothered a little bit by this deep pressure, which a lot of teams are. The four out of five starters back for Pleasant Valley this year on a team that made a deep run last year. Correct. Muskies. Get it under their own basket. Paige Miller bounces it in for Rogers. Up to Kerr as they break pressure ahead for Garcia down the lane. And she pulls it back out now for Miller. And it's stolen away and out of bounds. It'll be musky ball. Yeah, and it was a good job breaking the press there. That pass was just a little bit out in front of Garcia. If it's a little bit more inside, she can go right up to the hoop instead of having to try to bring it back out. 
Miller now out high. She picks her dribble up, gets it over for Eller. Eller crosses over. The call over and back. Yeah. Looked like she was pushed a little, Joel. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, early season, I guess, for the officials, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was some contact there. Not, not malicious, but enough to make her lose her balance. There's Spellhog. She picks it up. Carly does. Over to Buddy. Buddy cross court for Ellie Spellhog. She drives a lane. Runner on the way. No good. Rebound cleared by Kerr. And a foul, and it's going to be on Ellie Spellhog, I believe, and that's her first. Great rebound there by Tessa. Kerr's a very good athlete. And I think that was the thing that Coach Orvis said this morning, too, was uh, lots of multi-sport athletes on the court for her right now. You know, Rogers uh, excels in other sports. Uh, Kerr is an outstanding volleyball player along with basketball player. Paige Miller is going to be a uh, college golfer. She just announced that this week. So lots of experience, a lot of competitive experience on the, on the court right now for Muscatine, not just basketball ability. Rogers gets it ahead for Kerr. Kerr now trapped on the wing, gets it back to Macy Rogers. Now to Miller. Swings it over for Eller. They get it to Garcia baseline. She picks it up. Now flips it back out to Paige Miller. Paige left wing for Kerr. Back to Paige. Paige dribbles into the gap. Now she bounces it for Eller. Now they get it into the middle of Rogers. She drives a lane. Throws up a shot. No good. And the rebound cleared by PV. Here come the Spartans down the floor. Hartoffer swings it over. And there's a travel on Buddy. Turnover Spartans. 3.44 left in the first, and the Muskies trail 7 2. Yeah, nice job on defense getting back, forcing that travel. Our great sponsor, CBI Bank and Trust, ready and willing to help with your financial needs and integrated therapy specialist, PC, your local physical therapy provider. Eller in the backcourt now to Miller. Miller cross court for Rogers. Pushes tempo ahead for Garcia. She puts it on the deck, drives a lane, lays it up and in. Nice move by the freshman. So Alicia much. Garcia with a basket, and it's 7-4. So much upside with her uh, already performing at a high level, just going to get better. Spellhog on the wing. Ellie, she drives a lane, shot up and in on a foul, and the basket counts. And it's going to be on Macy Rogers, her first, and the first on the Muskies. Nice. Rogers did a good job of getting her feet over, but then she, she swiped down with her arm, drawing the foul. If she just kind of stood her ground, she may have been able to at least get a no call or even an offensive foul. Spellhog's free throw, no good. 9 4 Spartans with 3 10 to play in the first. Kerr in the right wing. Out front for Paige Miller. Paige bounces it over for Eller. Back to Miller. Picks her dribble up way out high. Now gets it over to Eller. Now Miller over to Kerr, right wing, feeds it in, and it's intercepted and stolen away by Andrea Artoffer, and here come the Spartans again. Carly Spellhog in the front court, crossover dribble. Now to Ellie Spellhog, back to Carly. Now to Grace Buddy. Cammy Hunter has checked into the PV lineup. There's a three by Ellie Spellhog, short, no good. I think it was blocked by Rogers, and here come the Muskies. And now we've got a foul, and this one's going to go on Carly Spellhog, her first and the third on the Spartans. And a line change by Pleasant Valley here. <laughs> They've got a lot of depth, a lot of bodies coming in now. Taylor Gow is one of them. Also, Grace Necker has checked into the lineup. Rory Donahue checks back in. Vision Center PC, only the finest care and vision, the very best for your eyes, sponsoring Muskie basketball this season. Zoe Long has checked in for the Muskies, another talented freshman, a 5-5 freshman. They try to feed it into Rodgers, and there's another foul, and this one's going to go on Taylor Gow. Her first and the fourth on the Spartans. And while no single player developing a, a foul trouble situation for Pleasant Valley, the team foul starting to build. You know, Muskie trying to get to that, that free throw line early in this first half. Long out front, puts it on the deck over for Kerr. Kerr now over to Paige Miller. Miller picks her dribble up, cross court for Long. Over to Kerr. PV's got a suffocating zone. They do a nice job moving her feet. There's Long now. She flips it to Garcia. So the Muskies, the two freshmen, two seniors and a junior on the court. Long over to Garcia. She's baseline, backs in, bounces it back for Zoe Long, and now to Miller. Rogers to Kerr, Muskie's playing 
Way out of the perimeter, Joe. Hard to get anything inside of 25 feet right now. Yeah. And Kerr takes another long three. No good. Rebound PV. Yeah, they're just they're trying to control the, keep the low percentage shots from happening. There's a drive down the lane. Shot no good by Donahue. Garcia effective around the rim there, trying to block it. Great defense by the freshman. Kerr now swings it to Miller. Miller over to Long. Page out high. Defense extended out to the green line. If you know the Muscatine basketball court, you know how far out that is. Miller drives and lays it up and in on a foul. Paige Miller going strong to the hoop that time. And that was just a great job of finding the hole and attacking the rim. The foul's on Andrea Artoffer, and that's her first in the sixth now on Pleasant Valley. Free throw no good by Paige. Nine to six PV. One minute to play here in the first quarter. There's a pass down low. Now they get it to Gao. She drives in, lays it up and in. Nice drive by Taylor Gao, the 5'11 senior. Down the floor, Long now for Kerr. Back to Zoe Long. Over to Kerr. Feeds inside for Rogers. Macy with a strong drive. Lays it up and in. Macy Rogers with a basket. She leads the Muskies with four. And it's 11 to eight now with 25 seconds left in the first. Very good closeout to this first quarter so far for the Muskies. There's a pass thrown away. Turnover PV. And Joel, the Muskies can cut it to one or tie it here going into the, at the end of the first quarter. And, and that's what you really have to do with a team that is such a pressure-filled team on defense is get those made baskets and, and get your defense to start to convert and get, get them out of their rhythm. Long in the backcourt for Miller. There's the trap. They get it in the middle of Rodgers. She drives in, feeds it to Garcia. She's under the hoop, kicks it to Long, three out of the right wing, no good, and rebound cleared by PV. Here come the Spartans with five seconds. Down the floor, Spellhog lays it up, no good, and the rebound cleared by Kerr, and we've played a quarter. What Pleasant Valley tries to do reminds me of my alma mater, Jamie Sales, won six NAIA national titles at Morningside College, and it's the same philosophy. Trap, 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 extend the zone, make the team have to make three-pointers, and that's really the only way to affect it is to start to shoot them out of their zone. Exactly. They're really pressuring hard here. After one, it's 11-8 PV. Leading scorer, Kira Artoffer, with five for the Spartans. Macy Rogers leads the Muskies with four. PV stretches the zone even farther now as Miller bounces it for Kerr. And now Paige out high. She gets it to Garcia. It's kicked, so the Muskies get it out of bounds. Muskies have Garcia long, Rogers, Miller, and Kerr on the floor at the moment. Pleasant Valley has uh, both spell hogs, Carly and Ellie. They've got Taylor Gow, Kira Artoffer, and Rory Donahue. And here comes Ellie Spellhog. Bounces it for Gow. She puts it on the deck, drives the lane, lays it up. No good. Rebound. Cleared by Garcia. Strong move for a freshman. Coach Horvis wanted a father on a rebound. There's Long on the left wing. She bounces it for Rogers. Macy Rogers to Paige Miller. And there's another kick ball. You know, I see these freshmen play, and I remember just a couple years ago and Macy Rogers playing as yeah. a freshman and to see how she's matured as an athlete. You know, she's a real strong player as a junior now. Uh, and even Paige Miller got some minutes as yes. a freshman too. So th this is a, a, a team that is, is developing quickly. And, uh, and Coach Orvis thinks that there's a real good core group of players that are here. And uh, the, the two senior leaders are really showing good leadership and bringing them along. Emily Webking now, 5'5 five, five sophomores checked in, so. Miller on the right wing. Bounces it in for Kerr, now to Garcia baseline. She puts it on the deck, drives in, slapped away by Gow and stolen by PV, and here come the Spartans. 11 to 8 with seven minutes to play in the first half. Donahue kicks it for Ellie Spellhog. She drives in, shot on away, no, and a foul. This is going to go on Tessa Kerr. That'll be her first and only the second on the Muskies. Free throw opportunity here. La Morelia Mexican Restaurant, home of the Taco Don Julio and Affordable Metal Manufacturing, your local source for cut-to-length metal roofing. Have you had the Taco Don Julio? I have not yet, but it, it's worth it. It sounds yeah, tempting. It's, it's worth it. <laughs> Ellie Spellhog misses the first, and if there's a weakness coming into this one, only 33% for the line. She's 0 for 2 tonight and knocks that one down. 1 for 3, so it's 12 
eight. PV was 6.55 left in the half. Miller now walks it over half court for the Muskies. PV didn't press after the free throw. Long back to Miller, not a long. But P- PV just picks that up right at the half court line. It's very rare to see a zone extend that quickly, that fast. Long back over to Miller. She drives into the gap, kicks it back to Zoe Long. They trap her as soon as she catches it on the wing. Now she picks her dribble up. They're doing a good job of keeping the high post out of play, and the Muskies do get it there this time. And a nice feed over to Webking. Shot no good. Rebound Garcia and a foul on Ellie Spellhaw. Great position by Alicia Garcia, the freshman. Great job to finally get the ball into that high post where now Tess, could, Tess Kirk could either pass it down to the low post in the short corner or get it out to that three-pointer. And a great exact ball movement that Coach Orvis wanted there to set that offensive possession up. Muskies will inbounds under their own basket. Miller kicks it ahead, and now it's stolen away. Here comes Donahue. Donahue picks her dribble up. Over in the corner, now back to Donahue. Cross-court pass for Artoffer. Shot on the way, three ball, good. Actually, Carly Spellhog knocked it down. And that's her first basket, and it's now 15-8 to eight as PV extends to their biggest lead of the night, seven points. Yeah, I just lost the shooter in the corner there for Muscatine. There's another ball, almost stolen, and now there's a tie-up on the floor between Kerr and Spellhog. Good hustle by both, and it'll be Spartan basketball. This has been a pretty physical first half. I mean, the, the active hands of Pleasant Valley, really a factor for, for the Muskies, and I think some of these... You know, in two months might be called fouls. This for this first week of the season, they're not apparently. <laughs> These guys might ref football too. They're letting a few things go. <laughs> There's a spell I got Frank Carley for another three, and now she's found a range. Her second three, and it's 18 to eight as PV extends to 10, their biggest lead of the night, with five and a half to play in the first half. There's Tessa Kerr in the left wing. She picks her dribble up, tries to pass it. It's stolen away by PV. Pressure defense starting to wear the Muskies down a little in the half court. Spellhog now, hesitation dribble. She pulls up for another three. I had no good this time. Ball tapped around. Donahue gets it. Nice pass ahead, laid up and in by Kira Artoffer. She now has seven to lead the Spartans and is 20 to eight as they've gone on a 9 0 run here in the second quarter. Yeah, Zoe awesome. Long. Their off- defense is turning into offense and just there, another turnover for Muscatine. Muskie's another turnover as they're getting their hands on a lot of passes, Joel, it's, in a half court. You hear about some of those old coaches like uh, uh, the guy at Boston College, can't think of his name at all, and Gary, the Maryland guy. Gary Williams. Yeah, Gary Williams. Yes. He, one of the stats that they always kept was tipped basketballs because yep. that turned into turnovers. They may not be every time, but they affect passing lanes and decision-making. And right now, Pleasant Valley using that formula to, to disrupt the Muscatine offense. Carly Spellhog walks it up over half court now for the Spartans. She picks it up. She swings it over now for Buddy, who's checked back in the game. Buddy gets it to Donahue. Donahue swings it over for Hunter, who's back in the game. And now there's a drive. Artoffer kicks it back out. Good ball movement by the Spartans. And there's a shot. Corner three, no good. Rattles out by Andrea Artoffer and a rebound cleared by Macy Rogers. Here come the Muskies. Need a basket here. Paige Miller over for Eller who's checked back in. Back to Miller. Back to Eller. Muskies playing catch out high. Now Tess Kerr in the left wing. We've got a whistle and we're going to have a foul. And this one's going to go on Carly Spellhog. So free throw opportunity here for the Muskies. And so this is a great chance to, to get some points back on the scoreboard without you know, giving them an opportunity to steal it or block it. I mean, getting to the free throw line, the Muskies got to the line 20 times against Assumption, and they shot 50%. So they've proven they can get there. Now they just need to start converting those free throws. Miller has not yet shot a free throw on the season. One of the bonus here in the free throw, no good, and the rebound cleared by Pleasant Valley. There's a pass ahead for Buddy off her foot and out of bounds. As she was open, but the pass was short. Muskies have checked in another freshman, and it looks like Avery Eagle. 5'11 freshman. Boy, a 5'11, a six foot freshman. Bright future for some of these Muskie athletes. Rogers now for Eller. And that ball stolen away, and here comes 
Artoffer, Kira Artoffer lays it up and in. She has nine, and it's 22 to eight. Muskies yet to score here in the second quarter. Yeah, it's a, it's a good run here for Pleasant Valley, and those made baskets let them shut up that press. There's a backcourt foul, and Joel, you're right. They're going to stop the clock, put us at the line. Miller with another opportunity as this foul's on Kira Artoffer. Her first, the ninth on PV, so Paige Miller back at the line for one on one. Need to at least make these front ends here. It's uh, easier said than done as a guy who shot maybe 40% <laughs> as a free throw shooter in his life. Zoe Long looking to check in. She'll check in for Paige Miller as it's Garcia Rogers, Eagle, and Eller for the Muskies, and Paige makes the front end. She'll get another. So good job there. Getting some points on the board here in the second quarter. We haven't had that chance yet. West Side Store, Godfather's Pizza. Godfather's Pizza, home of the 99-cent slice of pizza on Monday. West Side Store, quality BP gas. Every fill-up. There's the second one. So Miller makes a pair, and the Muskies are on the board here in the second quarter. Their first two points with 340 left. So a dry spell has ended. It's 22 to 10. Spartans, as they walk the ball up the floor again, the Muskies bringing in Zoe Long. Three freshmen on the floor for the Muskies. And two juniors. There's Buddy on the right wing. Hot high now for Artoffer over on the other wing to the other Artoffer. <laughs> Andrea yeah, and Kira. And there's a nice shot by Carly Spellhog. As she gets a basket, and she has seven now, and it's 24-10. I'd like to say there's an advantage of playing together most of your life. I mean, yes. this, is, this, is, this is driveway basketball for them. Terrific athletes. Outstanding basketball team. Long bounces it for Eller. Eller back to Zoe Long. She dribbles it into the trap. Now she kicks it over for Macy Rogers. Rogers drives, gets it. And the middle of the zone is so active for PV2, yes. it's, hard, it's hard to get that interior pass. Kayla Schultz has checked into the Muskie lineup now. 6-1 junior. There's Zoe Long. Bounce pass over for Eller. Back to Long. PV doing a great job taking the middle away. If you can get the ball to the middle, you have options, but they're not giving the Muskies a look at all. Rogers on the right wing, back out for Long. Long over for Eller, back to Long. Muskies have burned almost a minute off this clock here. Now they get it to Schultz at the top, and she loses it, stolen away by Pleasant Valley. Spellhog down the floor, nice pass to Buddy, lays it up and in. Good fast break by the Spartans. Just tremendous transition basketball there for PV, and uh, PV calling the time to get back into it. As long as there's a three-point line on the floor, there's a chance to get back into it. There's always game. a chance. No question about it. PV playing very confident veteran basketball team. Paige Miller over for Tess Kerr is checked back in. They get it to Garcia at the high post. Not a long. Back to Paige Miller. Muskie's getting a little deeper towards the rim this time. And now Kerr gets it back out to Miller. Miller cross over the top. She gets bumped, yeah. and there's going to be a foul. On Grace Necker. And I think they're, they're going to call Necker for the, the foul when, when Miller lost her feet. I'm not sure that was where the foul was. It was when she grabbed her wrist as she was crossing her over. So maybe a little makeup call on the tangled feet that will, probably wasn't the foul there. So Paige Miller with her third trip to the line. Two out of three. And the free throw is up and good. Three for four tonight. So Paige has five points now to lead the Muskies. 26-11 and she'll get the second one. The Muskies will have double bonus the rest of the way. Free throw on the way, good. Miller makes two, and it's 26-12 with 1.30 to play in the first half. There's a pass in the corner, and it's going to be Artoffer taking it in. Shot good by Andrea Artoffer this time. Her first basket, and it's 28-12, Spartans. Just a missed assignment there for Muscatine on their defense. Kerr on the left wing. Here comes the trap. They get it to the high post, Garcia. She turns into the lane, back to Kerr, three out of the corner. Long, no good, and the rebound cleared by the Spartans, and they're looking to run again. Here's Artoffer, over now for Necker. Necker drives the lane, lays it up, no good, and a foul on Macy Rogers, and that'll be the second on Rogers and the third on the Muskies, but Grace Necker will go to the line to shoot two. 
Yeah, that was a, a good offensive possession for Pleasant Valley. Bogey Motors, full lineup of quality previously owned vehicles, sponsoring Muskie basketball this winter. First free throw by Necker is good. Stay tuned at the half. The High V Halftime Show will break down the first half and recap stats for you. Necker will shoot the second. And it's good. She makes a pair, and it's 30 to 12, Pleasant Valley. 55 to play in the first half. Miller out high. Clock at 45. Over to Kerr. Kerr bounces it for Garcia baseline. In the corner. Now she picks it up back to Kerr. Paige Miller back to test. Now it's Garcia drives baseline in the lane. Shot up no good. And a rebound cleared by Donahue. And here come the Spartans. The chance to play for the last shot. I don't know how that wasn't a foul on that drive. A lot of contact. There's a pass inside. Buddy shot up. No good. Or Gao. Sorry. She gets her own rebound and puts it back in. And it's 32 to 12. Taylor Gao with a strong shot. Now PB with another steal. Nice pass to Artoffer. She kicks it back out. Stolen by Garcia from the backside. Muskies may get a shot off here at the end of the half. Miller to Kerr. To Rogers, shot's going to be late. We've played a half. Back at Muscatine High School, second half action. Just a few seconds away, the same starters for Pleasant Valley to open the second half. Andrea Artoffer, Carly Spellhog, Rory Donahue, Kira Artoffer, and Ellie Spellhog. So two Spellhogs, two Artoffers, and Rory Donahue. The Muskies will come out with the same five that started the game for them. Paige Miller, Kendra Eller, Tessa Kerr, Macy Rogers, and Alicia Garcia. This is a... Uh, when you're down like this, you, there's no 20-point shot. So you just got to chip away at it here and keep, minimize your turnovers. That's where a lot of Pleasant Valley's offense came in that first half was off of turnovers. And I'm sure, Susan Joel, exactly what you said, stress had just... Every position, possession, try to win that possession. You know, get a positive uh, basket, get a rebound, and a stop on the defensive end and just keep chipping away. But there's a turnover right out of the gate by the Muskies. Pass from Miller to Eller and out of bounds. It'll be PV ball. The minute you take a step back, PV just keeps pushing you back further and further towards that half-court line. Hard to offer to Spellhog and now to Donahue in the corner. Donahue... Over for Andrea Artoffer. Now they swing it to Carly Spellhog. Back to Artoffer to Donahue. And Carly Spellhog. She knocked down a couple threes in the first. Here's Ellie Spellhog. Back to Carly. Now there's a drive down the lane. Artoffer. There's Ellie Spellhog with a corner three. Short, no good. It's another rebound. offensive rebound. And there's Kira Artoffer knocking down a three. Out high. And she has 12 to lead the Spartans. And it's 35-12, Joel. That's their biggest lead of the night. I would love to see. I'm not keeping track of what their second-chance points have been. They seem to get most of their buckets off of an offensive rebound. There's a cross-court pass look. to Garcia. Left-handed shot. No good, but a good look. Gets her own rebound and a foul. The freshman staying aggressive there. A nice cross-court pass from Kerr that found her. Youth Sports Foundation teaching more than just sports to Muscatine's youth. Sponsoring Muskie basketball. There's a pass in the inbounds to Garcia, and she's fouled again. Freshman taking it strong, and she'll get two free throws this time. Confidently attacking the basket, doing a nice job of not being indecisive. Get that ball, go straight up to the rim, drawing the foul. That's Andrea Artoffer picked up two consecutive fouls, and now she has three. First free throw on the way, good by Garcia. 73% of the young season. Good looking freshman here. Three points on the night. Second free throw on the way. Rattles out. No good. And the rebound cleared by Spellhog. They push Temple. Nice pass down below. Kicks it out. Not a cure our toffer. There's a three top of the key by Spellhog. No good. And a rebound. Macy Rogers. And here come the Muskies. Nice rebound there. Good box out by Rogers. Paige Miller picks her dribble up, bounces it for Rodgers at the elbow. Rodgers puts it on the deck over Garcia, three out of the corner. 
No good. Rebound Donahue. Ahead to Carly Spellhog, and here come the Spartans. She feeds it over, and it's tipped, but it's picked up by Ellie Spellhog. Down the lane, lays it up and in. Ellie Spellhog with nine, and it's 37-13 PV. Just the, the continuous ball pressure from Pleasant Valley here as they get to across the, the half-court line. There's a pass to Kerr. And every time they steal, they're looking to score. This, and that's where they get their points. They haven't had to do a lot of setup on the offensive end, Joel. They just continue to hammer it after turnovers. Yeah, just attack, attack, and get into the transition. And uh, they do a really nice job of it. Zoe Long is checked in for Eller for the Muskies. There's a ball slapped and stolen almost, but it's out of bounds. Carly Spellhog. Their, their activity doesn't give uh, the Muskies any chance for second guessing. You have to be 100% confident in what you're trying to do or else they'll exploit it and they'll get a steal. Kerr out of, to Miller. Back to Kerr. Long three left wing. Good! Tessa Kerr knocks on her first three. And it's 37-16. That was deep behind the three-point. Very deep. There's a pass, corner three, this time by Donahue. Good, she answers. But just like that, it's 40 to 16. That's just, and just a great ball movement. Timeout, Susan Orvin. We are back at Muscatine High School. Timeout, PV, or Muscatine there. 5.17 to play in a third, and it's PV 40, and the Muskies 16. 24 point lead. They led the Muskies by 20 at the half, and have not. Uh, Sloughed off a bit coming out here in the third. Miller walks it up over half court. One three one trap. Over it's to, the there's another steal, Joel. The variety of pressures. It's two three extended. It's a one two one one trap. Nice again, pass ahead. They finish in transition as Ellie Spellhog gets in. It's now forty two sixteen. Another turnover. And there's a trap in the corner, and she steps out of bounds. Another turnover by the Muskies. It's the fourth turnover of the second half for the Muskies so far. And we've only played three minutes. Trucks Unlimited, the professional truck and trailer repair experts for over 30 years in Muscatine and Bosch Pest Control. Don't squash them, Bosch them, bringing you musky basketball this winter. Carly Spellhog walks it over half court. She's guarded by Paige Miller. And she feeds it to Grace Buddy, who's checked in. Turnaround elbow jumper, no good. Rebound cleared by Tessa Kerr. Kerr pushes Temple for the Muskies, not a Miller. Miller trying to figure out where they're going to attack the zone. Long in the right wing, back to Miller. Page dribbles it in, kicks it over to Kerr. Kerr back to Miller. Bounces it to Rogers, top of the key, drives a lane, no good but a foul. And if they can get the ball there, they can create something. Joel, you can either attack the rim or you got some wing shooters, hopefully open when the zone collapses, but they've had a hard time just getting it there. Yeah, they've denied the ball to that post, and good things have happened offensively for Muscatine when they've done that. Rogers makes the first free throw. That last foul was on Grace Buddy, her first and the third on the Spartans. So Macy will get one more here. Uptown Motors voted the best used car dealer in the Muscatine for the last eight years. Rogers second free throw, no good. Ellie Spellhog in the front court. Over to Carly Spellhog. 42-17 PV, four minutes left here in the third. Ellie Spellhog, crossover dribble down the lane, loses it off her leg out of bounds. Great play by Paige Miller Husky to ball. dig and uh, get that turnover forced. Alicia Garcia checks back in. She comes in this time for Rogers. So it's Avery Eagle, Alicia Garcia, Zoe Long, the three freshmen, along with the two seniors, Tessa Kerr and Paige Miller for the Muskies. Miller walks it over half court to Zoe Long. She loses it. Ball on the floor stolen by Ellie Spellhog. And here come the Spartans. Bounce pass Carly Spellhog. And that's how you run a two-on-one break. Yeah, just, that's textbook right there. 44-17, PV, an outstanding team. They just don't give you any chance to relax. It's pressure all the time. Miller to Kerr, corner now for Garcia. Garcia drives baseline, shot on the way, no oh. good, but a great look. Rebound Eagle. Eagle drives in the lane, back out high for Garcia. 17-footer is good. Nice. Alicia Garcia with five. 
and it's 44-19. She's got a bright future in a musky jersey. Great pass by Eagle off the baseline drive, too. There's a cross-court pass. There's a three from the corner. Good. They're bringing in everybody. Cami Hunter knocked down a corner three for the Spartans, and it's 47-19. The lead extends to 28. Miller now. Over to Zoe Long. Back over to Miller. Miller, there's another ball. Carly Spa gets her hand on so many passes. Yeah, I don't know how many deflections she's had, but it's it's over 10, I would guess, this game. Now PV brings in wholesale changes. Grace Necker checks back in. This is the penalty kill line. <laughs> <laughs> but they can all play. I mean, I don't. they don't yeah, lose a yeah. skip. Here's a cross-court pass. Looks like Garcia in the corner. She spin moved in the lane, takes it hard, shot up, no good. And a foul, and a freshman looking to get aggressive on the offensive end. Yeah, nice strong take by Garcia. What we like to see is, is she's attacking. She's not backing away from this top-ranked team in PV and uh, relishing that competition, it seems like, at this point. Great free-throw shooter, too. Rory Donahue with a foul. Fourth team foul on PV. Paige Miller checks out. Macy Rogers checks back in. First free throw is good by Garcia. Second free throw on the way. No good rattles out and the rebound cleared by Gao. Here comes Kira Artoffer pounding the dribble over half court. Spartans lead the Muskies by 27. There's Kira Artoffer, left-handed three, top of the key, rattles, no, rebound tip four. And Garcia clears it, strong rebound. Rodgers in the front court for the Muskies. Over on the left wing is the Muskies have Emily Webking checks in, and she's on the left wing, and there's a kick ball. It'll be musky ball. Rogers did a nice job of getting to that, for driving to that free throw line and making the defense collapse. She just was unable to, to get that pass out there, but a kick had a lot to do with it. Rogers gets it into Webking. Over to Garcia. Garcia out high. Muskies running a trap, but her making her give it up. Now to Kerr. Kerr back out front for Macy Rogers. Now Avery Eagle in the corner. Now they feed it to Kerr. Kerr swings it over to Webb King, and she's fouled on the baseline, and this one's going to go on. Three-second call. Or three seconds. Three-second call. call. Wow. Interesting. 47-20, Muskies trail by 27. There's Donahue in the corner. 125 left in the third quarter. Nice pass to Artoffer, back out high for Necker. Now they feed it inside, layup, no good by Gow, missed the bunny, and a rebound cleared by Rogers. Good rebound by Macy there. Kerr in the front court, takes her dribble up, feeds it for Rogers. Rogers over for Kerr. Kerr takes a long three, no good rebound. Up by Eagle, no good, and the rebound cleared. By PV, boy, Avery Eagle, the freshman with a strong offensive rebound. And this foul is going to go on number 20, Kira Artoffer for PV. That's her second. Yeah, those two long freshmen for Muscatine and Eagle and Garcia. It's going to be interesting to see how they develop over the year. Certainly have the length. Good-looking freshman players. There's a pass out high, and this one goes to Kerr. Under a minute to play in the third. 47-20 PV. And another deflection <laughs> for the Blessed Valley Spartan. Coach Orvis going to see deflections in her sleep tonight. And another one, Joel, out of bounds. Always trying to get in the passing lanes. Tenacious. Paige Miller looking to get it in. And this one's <laughs> deflected back by Ellie Spellhog. It's like playing password, and the, the password is deflection. <laughs> First National Bank of Muscatine proudly supporting Muscatine Muskie Athletics. Visit any of their four convenient locations for your banking needs. Miller gets it into Kerr and back to Miller. Now they're on the double team at Page. They swing it over. There's a three. Avery Eagle from Locked. the corner. No good. Blocked. And the rebound. PV. 35 to play in the third. Artoffer in the corner. Spin move by Ellie Spellhug. No good, but she's fouled. Very aggressive move by the fine senior. Good footwork there. Just went to the rim with a purpose. Two, 
It's on Alicia Garcia, her first. Garcia and Miller lead the Muskies in scoring each with six. First free throw good by Spog. Muscatine Lumber, Muscatine's only locally owned and operated lumber yard. You have an open house tomorrow, you can come see me. I'm broadcasting live from 10 to noon tomorrow, Muscatine Lumber. Get out and check those guys out. 49-20, PV's biggest lead now of 29 is Spog. Now with 13 points for the Spartans. Paige Miller in the front court. She gets it the high post to Garcia. Garcia drives in the lane, kicks to Kerr. Kerr drives in, 12-footer on the way. Good. Nice ball movement that time. Got the ball in the middle of the zone, and things happen, and Kerr knocks down her second basket. She has five. Good use of the shot fake there. Hartoffer on the left wing. Four seconds to play. Donahue takes a three. Left wing, no good, and we played three. We are back at Muscatine High School as the fourth quarter just getting underway. It's been all Pleasant Valley since the end of one. PV led 11 8 after one, 32 to 12 at the half, and it's 49 22 as we start the fourth quarter. We have an update from Washington at the half. It's Muscatine 41 and Washington 11. Joe Wieskamp with 27 of those 41 for the Muskie boys at the half. Muskie's in the front court now. Webb King over to Eagle. Eagle drives baseline. Tries to feed it in to Garcia, and it's stolen away by Carly Spellhug. Spellhug now to Kira Artoffer. Three from the wing. No good. Rebound. Strong rebound by Garcia to Miller, and here come the Muskies. Good, off, uh, good defensive rebound there for Muscatine. There's Kerr. Kerr, and they're stolen away by Artoffer. Down the floor she goes. Lays it up and in. Boy, good player. Kira Artoffer with 14. She leads the Spartans, and it's 51-22. That matches their biggest lead of 29. Just the confidence that Pleasant Valley has on defense to attack. Like they, they have clearly been given the green light by their coach, uh, Coach Sophie Harhus, uh, to attack the basketball. That was anticipation there by, Arto, by, by her to, to attack it. So she has the green light to do that whenever she wants. Just like some defensive backs, you can say gamble all you want because they've got the ability to do it. And the girls on the back end of the zone know that they're taking chances, so they're never out of position. They've always got help in place. It's a very impressive team. Webb King out front. She flips it over to Rodgers and now back to Webb King. Webb King ball stolen away out front by Kira Artoffer. Nice pass to Carly Spellhog. Lays it up and in. And the layup drill is continuing yeah. as it's 53-22. 31 now the biggest lead of the night for PV. Just six and a half to play here and there's a kick ball. We've seen a bunch of those too, Joel, but that's disruption. Yeah, you it's it, yeah, sure and must seem keeps the possession. But now they're able to set up their defensive sets and no one's out of position. Get a sub in for fresh legs. It really, it behooves them almost to kick the ball. Macy Beinborn has checked in. That's her first action of the night. She's guarding Long out front. And she's pressuring the ball and she's Long. She's 5'11". And there's a timeout Muscatine. On behalf of my family and I, we'd like to thank Muscatine for all the support, and we cannot wait to see you again at La Morelia Mexican Restaurant, 810 Park Avenue, in the Lincoln Center. Back at Muscatine High School. Second half action, all seasons glass, bringing us some musky basketball this winter, too. There's Garcia, tries to feed Webb King. She drives, kicks it to Kerr. Kerr steps into a long three, rattles, no good rebound. Cleared by PV, Ellie Spellhog. 5.50 to play, and it's PV by 31. There's another corner three short. No good. Ball tapped and picked up by Rogers. <laughs> Slapped ahead and stolen, but taken back by Zoe Long. Now Rogers. Rogers on the right wing, drives a lane, shot up, blocked, but a foul on Andrea Artoffer. And I believe that's her fourth. So Actually, they're going to call it. On Buddy. Sorry, Joel. No, so now it's the Mustangs in the bonus. And uh, try to get some points here without time running off the clock. Rogers free throw, no good. Macy Rogers has five for the Muskies. Garcia and Paige Miller each with six. Tess Kerr and Rogers each with five. Lead the Muskies. Rogers second free throw. This one drops in. So Macy with six. And it's 
53-23 now. Spartans by 30. Carly Spellhog in the front court. Over to Ellie Spellhog. She'll step into a three, top of the key, back iron, no good, rebound, PV. Cross court pass now for Beinborn. Now she feeds it to Spellhog, shot, no good, gets her own rebound, back up and in. Just a good offensive rebound off the glass there for Spellhog. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like Groundhog Day. Going down the court. Miller picks her dribble up, and now she's surrounded. Now she gets it to Zoe Long in the corner. Bounces it back for Paige Miller. Down to Rogers. Kerr on the left wing. For Paige Miller. Muskies trail by 32 with 440 to play. Paige Miller into the gap. Over for Zoe Long. Back to Paige. Page splits the trap. Now she gets it to Long. She'll step into a three. Short, no good. Rebound, Garcia, and a foul. This one's going to be on Grace Buddy. Good rebound, boy. Very impressed with Alicia Garcia tonight. Yeah, it's the first time I've had a chance to see her play uh, ever. And <laughs> just, just really impressed by her. And, uh, really impressed by Paige Miller attacking, getting to the free throw line. And short shot was short by Zoe Long, but it was a good look. It was a quality look. And those are the things that they just have to keep doing. No question. My first look. I've heard a lot of good things. And, boy, she certainly hasn't disappointed. A very smart player, aggressive player. She's going to be fun to watch the next uh, four years here in a Muskie uniform. Monsanto, sustainability is the heart of who they are, bringing you Muskie basketball this winter. First free throw is good. So Garcia leads the Muskies now with seven. Second free throw on the way short. And the rebound fought for by Rodgers, but cleared by PV. 420 left. Up in the front court now, Donna Huda Curart offers. She drives a lefty, lays it up and in. Almost thought there was a travel there, but good take by Artarfer. 57-24. 33-point bulge now. Rodgers drives in, spin move, lays it up, no. Strong rebound that time by Gao, and she gets it to Artoffer, and here come the Spartans. Necker, Good over for on. Gao, long three, top of the key, air ball, and out of bounds, musky ball. Paige Miller with a really nice close out there to stop the ball and force that reversal, which turned into that bad shot for Pleasant Valley. 340 to play. PV leads the Muskies 57-24. There's Kerr, left wing, gets it to Garcia. She spins into the lane, and she's pushed this time by Gal. Nice job there to strong, just try to get to the rim. Good spin move. <laughs> Musky basketball presented by Temp Associates, the employee marketplace, U Sports Foundation, teaching more than just athletics to Muscatine's youth. Integrated therapy specialist, PZ, for providing quality physical therapy to Muscatine and surrounding areas. Johnson has checked in for PV as they're going to the reserves now. Good free throw there by Reardon has also checked in as Garcia makes the first, makes the second. So Alicia makes a pair. She has nine to lead the Muskies. Tess Kerr checks out now as Avery Eagle checks back in. So it's Zoe Long, Paige Miller, Eagle, Garcia, and Rogers for the Muskies. Number 13 brings the ball up. Mallory Lefevre now for Pleasant Valley. She flips it over to Necker. Necker bounces in the corner for Gao. Gao drives in the lane, lays it up, no, and a foul. So she'll go to the line to shoot two. And this is going to be on Macy Rogers, and that's Macy's. At. Actually, it's Alicia Garcia. That's her second. Yeah, Garcia went for the shot block and got some forehead on her way to the ball. <laughs> Free throw by Gow, no good. Emily Webking checks back into the Muskie lineup, replacing Macy Rogers. Good effort by Macy tonight, as always. The disruptive tendencies for Pleasant Valley, just they, they challenge everyone's game. And you, all, you have to just play perfectly almost, and that's a hard thing to do. Yes, it is. Second free throw good by Gal. 58-26 with 3.15 left. Webking to Miller. 
to Zoe Long. Back out to Miller. Now Zoe Long with a three left wing. Good, Zoe nice Long. shot. Freshman knocks down a three. And it's 58-29. Lefevre in the front court now for PV. Over to Necker. Necker holds it out high. And now we've got a foul. And it's going to be on number 42 hey. for Pleasant Valley, Perez Johnson. Moving screen? Is that what that was? Yes. It's kind of unfair to call it this time, Joel. They haven't called it all night. And wow. So are we going with like a collective vision center? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Missed call of the game. This goes, yeah, we'll, we'll take it. We're the beneficiary of this. <laughs> Zoe Long over for Eller. Back to Long. To Kendra Eller on the right wing. Long now dribbles to the left. Bounce it for Webking. She drives baseline. Tries to feed Eagle. She recovers Long for another three. Short, no good. Rebound cleared Pleasant Valley, and they push it ahead for number 30, Reardon. She swings it over for Griffin. Now there's a pass stolen away by the Muskies by Eller. 2-10 left. Avery Eagle in the front court for Webking. She drives baseline. Shot up no on a foul. And this one's going to go on Perez Johnson. That'll be her second. And this goes back to something that Coach Orvis told me this morning. For, for whatever deficiencies they have, which they have some with inexperience and, and youth and, and just depth, they don't lack in, in gumption. They still fight. They're a very competitive team, and they all believe in themselves, and they all believe in the process. And so there, there's a lot of positives coming out of this team right now. You can still see it on the, on the floor. No question about it. And all the games, especially these underclassmen get, there's going to be a much better team in late January than you're seeing right now. They will improve as the year goes on immensely. See, There's a steal. Good steal right there, and that's Web King down the floor. Tries to feed long, and it's stolen away by Pleasant Valley. Lefevre in the front Ooh. court. She picks her dribble up. Clock at a minute 40, and now they flip it over for Griffin. Griffin out high, guarded by Long. Over to Hillman, who's checked in. And now there's a pushing foul. And this is going to be going Kendra Eller. And now Alicia Garcia checks out. Kayla Schultz checks into the Muskie lineup. Tremendous evening for Garcia. I'm not sure if we'll see her yet the rest of this game. There's a ball in the inbound stolen away by Zoe Long. And here come the Muskies. Long brings it into the front court. She's on the left wing. Now it's stolen back by PV. Ahead for Lefevre. Lefevre down the lane on Eller. She travels, it looks like, but they call a foul before the travel, and it's on Eller. That'll be her third. Second, my apologies. Just a uh, another steal in paradise for, for Pleasant Valley there. <laughs> There's a runner on the way good by Johnson. And it's 60 to 30 now. PV back up by 30. One minute, one minute left to play in this one. Long, and there's a pass deflected again out of bounds. Doesn't matter who they bring in. Yeah. You, you, you can just tell that, that that's the way they're playing at the freshman JV varsity level. With Probably their middle school programs are running a similar style of play. It's just that's the philosophy at Pleasant Valley. Riley Blake is checked into the game for the Muskies. The 5-3 sophomore. Very young Muskie team. Two sophomores, two freshmen and a junior on the court right now. There's Webking. Tries to feed Eagle. The ball stolen away by Johnson. Good defense. Lefevre now brings it over half court for PV. Feeds down the lane. Spin move, no good. That time by Reardon. Rebound up, no good. And Schultz clears. 30 seconds left. Long for Webking, feeds Eagle, ball stolen away again by Pleasant Valley. And there's a pass ahead for Lefevre. In the front court, tries to feed it inside for Griffin. Griffin back to Johnson, now it's into Griffin. Griffin drives baseline, kicks it over. There's a 
Shot by Hillman, and it's good. Two. Right at the gun. And, folks, we got a final from Muscatine High School. Pleasant Valley, 62, and the Muscatine Muskies, 30. We're going to step away for two minutes and come back with a Godfather's Pizza post-game show. You listen to Muskie Girls Basketball on KWPC, 860 AM and 95.